confess, father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong. I know. Hey, yo, 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 what's up, man? 2 for TUSKO today, Mr. Flow So Good, Mr. Keep Up with my Watts. Back with you guys with another YouTube video. For those of you guys that are new to a channel, please do yourself a favor and click the red button and subscribe. And to all our low subscribers, man, you guys are too awesome. Thank you for staying subscribed to this channel. Now, Buffett, you guys will already know that Fifi Cooperson lost a case against Ambitious Entertainment. And, you know, Ambitious Entertainment recently released a document just basically stating some of the things that Fifi Cooperson is restricted from doing, which was, you know, partly included, you know, that she cannot claim that the music that was recorded under Ambitious Entertainment is hers. And she apparently has to pay some fees towards Ambitious Entertainment, which includes some of the legal fees, you know, that were used by Ambitious Entertainment in pursuing the case against her. While a South African political party led by former ANC member Julius Malema has come out to not only say that they are supporting Fifi Cooperson in this matter, but they are willing to actually help her have the situation overruled. This is what they actually came out and said. They said, we have seen the injustice caused on Fifi Cooper by Ambitious Entertainment, which is politically associated with the corrupt Northwest Premier Supra Muhampilo, Forgive the pronunciation if it's wrong. We have contacted Fifi with the willingness to help her fight back against the corrupt and exploitive record company. Now, I think this is a welcome decision for a lot of fans. For those of you guys that don't know, people were very upset with the whole verdict that came out with the situation as far as Fifi Cooperston is concerned. Because yes, you know, the judge ruled in favor of Ambitious Entertainment. But, you know, Fifi Cooperston was told that she can't even come out and claim her own songs as her own. And on top of that, she has to pay some fees towards Ambitious Entertainment's legal costs that they incurred actually pursuing this case against her. So the EFF coming in and getting involved and saying that, you know, they're gonna help the Coopers in and they're gonna try one way or another to get this whole verdict overturned is, you know, something that a lot of people are actually welcoming. But we cannot lie and say that the EFF is just getting involved because it's Fifi Cooperson and they love Fifi Cooper's. Clearly also politically motivated because you guys will already know that Ambitious Entertainment and Mabella Noise have, you know, been associated with the ruling party in South Africa, which is the ANC. And, you know, the EFF getting involved in this case and possibly even winning this case for Fifi Cooperson would be a good look for them as far as the political sphere goes. Now, like I said in my previous video, Buffet 2, although I get the fact that Ambitious Entertainment is trying to clear their name by going with these cases, making sure that they win them and so on and so forth, the unfortunate part about it is the fact that even if they are winning the cases as far as the courts go, you know, to the public eye, it still doesn't look good for them. And you can even see it with the fact that, you know, some of their artists that are signed and Ambitious, you know, have been getting it today from, you know, fans actually going at them about the whole situation you can clearly see that people are not happy with ambitious entertainment pursuing cases against the artists that left the label and even you know the verdicts that are coming out of the situations because even personally for me with the whole 50 groupers in situation i do understand the fact that ambitious cannot just allow artists to breach contracts and you know come out and say whatever they want about the label and you know just leave after that and just let the whole thing go i do understand that but the whole verdict for me was a little harsh to actually even come out and say that she must also bear the legal cost that you guys incurred to actually pursue that case and she can't even claim the music that she recorded under you guys as her own. I felt like that was a little harsh but hopefully with the EFF getting involved man you know she probably gets better lawyers because you know this whole verdict also made me question you know what kind of lawyers did she have for her to even get such an unfair verdict but hopefully you know with EFF getting involved they come to a fair decision um, I'm hoping that it doesn't overturn to a point whereby it goes negatively towards ambitious I just think they need to find you know a balanced decision that works for both but you guys give me a comment in the comment section letting me know what you think about the situation what do you guys think about the EFF getting involved in this Fifi Cooperson ambitious case and do you guys think that they'll be able to get justice for Fifi Cooperson leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know what you think and definitely subscribe also now wait Wait, 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 Emma Billy. I know you wanna go, but click that red button and subscribe and put some respect on a younger name, man. Awesome.